Hey everybody, I want to talk to you for a few minutes about uh, treating your water while out on the trail. Uh, there's a ton of different products out there, lots of different techniques. Um, some people choose to just drink straight from the water source without treating it. You could add a few drops of bleach. Um, there's also like the Aquamara products, the tablets. Uh, there's a few concerns that I would have about these products. Uh, one, it takes an extended period of time for the product to work on your water. And then once it's treated, uh, there's just not much you can do about the nasty chemical taste that it leaves behind. And actually, if you look at the precaution label on this, uh, it will tell you to only use it in emergencies, that you shouldn't use it for an extended period of time, and it also warns that it's um, hazardous to humans and to domestic animals. Um, there are mechanical and electronic type devices out there. There's uh, this one is a steri pin. This is a older steri pin. It operates off batteries, uh, so that would be a concern. It uh, weighs in at seven ounces. They can be a little finicky when it comes to very cold water. Um, the concept is that the light source will uh, treat your water. So you would have like a wide mouth Nalgene or a Gatorade bottle and you stick the light source into the water, um, swish it around, uh, push the button, and depending on the size of your container, it will treat your water and it has like a little self timer and it will turn itself off. Uh, another concern about that would be it won't filter the debris and the silt and the organic matter that might be floating around in your water. So you could take a bandana or something similar place it over the mouth of the container, pour the water through it to filter off the bigger pieces, and then use the SteriPen to treat your water. Uh, they've made some advancements in this product, um, definite improvements. Uh, they've made them lighter. Um, they've also come out now with a um, rechargeable version. Uh, <clears throat> there's also the hand pump um, type filters, the mechanical filters. They have hoses hanging off of them, lots of working parts. So they can be a little bulky, a little cumbersome. Um, and uh, I would say a good rule of thumb would be the more working parts or pieces that you have on something, the better chance you would have for failure. In the past few years, uh, the Sawyer um, products have been pretty popular. Uh, this is the Sawyer Squeeze. Uh, there's also the Sawyer Mini. Um, as the name implies, the Mini is smaller. Um, this filter is a 0.1 micron absolute filter. Um, the pumps and some of the other products can be as high as 0 0.2, 0 0.3. Uh, the lower the micron rating, uh, the better job it's going to do at filtering or killing Giardia, um, other microbial cysts, things like that. And uh, it's a pretty simple filter. It's basically a filter inside plastic. Uh, the Sawyer Squeeze has a million gallon guarantee, while the Sawyer Mini has a um, 100,000 gallon guarantee. The flow rate between the two is a little different. Uh, the Sawyer Squeeze has a little bit better flow rate. And um, I would say probably the biggest concern you should have with this filter would be that um, if it did freeze, um, the water that's residual inside of the filter uh, could uh, expand and it would bust the housing. So I carry my filter in, inside of a plastic bag while it's in my backpack anyway. Uh, so you could just put this um, with the filter inside of it, put it inside your um, sleeping bag at night time, um, and that way the heat would prevent it from freezing. Uh, they're fairly inexpensive filters. I think the um, Sawyer Mini comes in right around 20 bucks, and the Sawyer Squeeze maybe close to 40. It just kind of depends on what options and things that you get with them. Um, in general, they come with a couple bags, and um, they will also come with, of course, the mouthpiece that's on them, and. Um, a syringe for back flushing. So if you take these four pieces 
in particular, they come in at 5.8 ounces. And uh, there is a way that you can save a little bit of weight and a um, couple little pieces here. Uh, these two pieces alone weigh 1.35 ounces. Now the smart water bottles come in generally in two sizes, the liter and the pint. And the pint comes with this uh, little mouthpiece and the mouthpiece itself with the little cap on it is uh, 0.15 ounces. Uh, this will take the place of both your mouthpiece um, that the Sawyer comes with and the back flush uh, syringe. It fits perfectly onto the Sawyer so you could drink right out of it. Just hook it up to their bag or a smart water bottle which the smart water bottle will thread just directly onto that and drink right out of it or you could uh, there's a little nipple inside here where the water flows out, the clean water, and the mouthpiece on the smart water bottle mouthpiece fits right on there, nice and snug. So what you could do is to back flush, there's a graphic on the side of the filter itself that shows flow, so the dirty water comes from this side and the clean water out on the mouthpiece side. So if you're back flushing it, of course, you would run the water opposite um, from clean side to dirty. And all you would have to do is thread it onto a bag or onto a bottle and then back flush through it. So you could save um, a little bit of weight, a little bit of savings there by just using this one piece and getting rid of these two. One of the concerns um, about these bags, uh, I've had this one for three or four years, it's the liter size, um, is that if you force too much water faster than the filter can filter, then you cause undue stress on some of the seams and particularly around the mouthpiece. Um, to avoid doing that, just use a rolling motion and slowly roll uh, the bag up and forcing the water through the filter, not too vigorously, um, but it'll save the bag from busting. Um, as a backup, you can carry a smart water bottle. They're just very light and do the same thing with this bottle, back flushing. Uh, I would say that some of the tips that I would offer besides the mouthpiece, uh, carry a portion of a water bottle on the bottom of it to use as a cup. Um, you can use this whenever you come to a shallow water source to scoop some of the water out and into a bag or into your bottle. It's pretty light. Uh, this one in particular is 0.2 ounces. Um, another consideration you might uh, carry a pack towel with you whenever you go to the water source. just takes one drop to contaminate <clears throat> clean water. Uh, so you could wipe down your bag or your bottle. Just be super careful about filtering your water. Uh, I think of all uh, the filters that I've had experience with, this is probably my favorite right now, and it's the one I've been carrying for a few years. Uh, it's just very simple, pretty lightweight, um, pretty straightforward. So. Uh, if you have any comments or questions about anything, um, I hope I've given you a few tips, um, maybe some information that you can use. Um, if you leave a comment or a question uh, at the bottom of the page, I appreciate it and I'll get back to you. Thank you. Have a great day.